What's going on y'all? Welcome to another video breakdown. Today we're going to be looking at a piece from Vice News and it was shot in Copenhagen, Thailand and it deals with the community of yoga and Tantra people. So we're going to look at some of the shots that I think they did very well here and let's dive in. Okay, so I want to just focus on two scenes really. Um, just because this kind of thing is quite hard to film. They're shooting really at night and almost in complete darkness here. So there's not a lot of light. They're just using the available light of the city and these shipping boats out here, which are green now. Okay, so um, I actually talked to the director of photography and the other camera on this crew. So I know that they were shooting on Sony FX9s and they told me that they were on Canon L-series glass. So I'm gonna guess we're at a 2.8 uh, aperture all the way wide open to capture this much light but what I really found was impressive is let me scroll along here they really have the levels really quite nice you see these uh, these highlights here obviously are the boating lights here of the ships and you know there's just enough they put the levels just nicely enough where our two subjects are here right around this range and that's accurate for how your eyes are going to see in that kind of lighting. Okay, I'll skip around here because I really like this. This shot here to me is really strong because you have just enough light coming from both directions, right? For coming from the shore and there's a little bit of light rounding off the uh, reporter's face and a hint of green right there that's coming off from the ship. So a nice sandwich sort of lighting on her face um and the focus is just so on point i mean i'm really i'm really impressed with the way they filmed this and the way that they kept they hold focus because they have to be shooting on a 2.8 if not even higher maybe it's a 1.8 1.4 i don't know but let's say it's a 2.8 they really have the focus locked onto the reporter they really have the focus locked onto the reporter and it's a sharp image and so let's bounce around you know, they have a variety of shots here. This is really nicely framed. Center of the camera are two subjects here. And I don't know if you can tell here, but this is very smart who, that they had the, the know-how to even think about this. If you can see in her hand, she has her lapel mic that she's holding here so that both her and a person she's talking to can be heard in clarity some people might not have had the foresight to think like that and you would not get clear sound from both so even though that's something small that you may not think about but that's something that the viewer doesn't even know is happening all they know is that they can hear so well this conversation that is taking place here and once again within the filming of this scene the camera operator is doing the best to keep this mic out of shot out of frame while still keeping good composition so these are all things that are thought about from the shooter's perspective and from the crew's perspective. And it's something that is uh, kind of like an, a, an invisible magic trick to the audience because they don't know, they don't know and they're not thinking because a viewer is passively watching the documentary, passively viewing the content. And to make it as seamless and to draw them into a story, you don't want, you don't need them to see a mic in every shot and then it's, it, it, it takes them out of this sense of the storytelling. So I love this effect that they've done here. You know, and their, their cutaways are just really, really nice here. You know, they've got a great cutaway here that's just giving you a sense of place. Here, here's what the, the island, here's what the island town looks like. And all that green color is just coming off these, these uh, ship boats out onto, out onto the sea. Here's something that I talk about a lot is about editing while you're shooting. Whoever is filming this knows that they need an end shot, a way to get out of the scene that has taken place. And so they probably told the reporter, just wait there. I'm going to come up to get another view from up top here, looking down, and then you can walk out of, out of shot. Finish your, your conversation will have finished by then, and you can walk out, and it'll be a nice, seamless transition into the next scene. So really strong foresight to think like an editor while you're shooting. Okay, now the next scene that I want to talk into is this next interview shot, which I think is just shot really nice. So our intro into this shot... So first of all, we're giving that sense of place. We're on a bungalow on the beach. And as we move in, I, I really love the idea of this setup shot, the way the light's coming in here. So we have our, our source light 
the sun obviously and no extra light everything is shot naturally i love this effect with getting good light without having to set up a bunch of lights and light stands and and takes out the the atmosphere i love natural light now let's see what they let's see what they did here because they must have shot this probably in in this region it's probably four or five o'clock to get this kind of light at this time um it's just low enough to create soft light and to create this angle and i love the way the light this is what you would shoot if you were looking to actually set up lights set up a soft box set up a proper lights light system we have our source light coming here on the opposite side of the camera frame and have a, a lovely sunspot on the other side of the cheek this really gives the the detail to bring out the the texture and the shape of the person's face once again i love when a sun is coming in from the back and creating these highlights around a person's body i, I think that's just a fantastic way to shoot you know and, and given this light i mean it just does so much because you have this i'm going to pop into full screen here it just gives so much texture to the face you know you have nice lighting and obviously you're and you're it just it just gives so much texture to your face you have nice lighting nice soft shadows lovely spotlights on each eye and this is just a fantastic shot super simple not getting complex with the shot and just bringing out the most of the moment to make it feel natural and authentic all right thanks a lot for watching y'all i hope this found you well if you got value out of this please like share or subscribe to the video and have a good day see ya